welcome to Recharge with Richardson. Five minutes of hope and inspiration from God's Word every day of your work week. Welcome once again to Recharge with Richardson. We're so glad that you could tune in. We're so glad about your viewership and your subscription and giving us the opportunity to disciple you during this really, really tough time. Uh, our world right now is in a place of chaos and flux and, and, and it's so much uncertainty going on because we don't know what the future may hold. We don't know how long this thing may take. It may take just a couple more weeks or maybe even a couple more months. We may be dealing with this until the fall. And some of us are dealing with a lot of fear and anxiety about this because one, we have either lost our jobs already or for sure we know we're going to lose our jobs. And we don't know how we're going to provide for ourselves and our family. So there's a lot of fear to really uh, uh, deal with as of right now and anxiety to deal with as of right now. But today I want to give you some encouragement during this time. And that encouragement comes to us today from Exodus chapter 14. And the topic is stand still and be calm. That's right, stand still and be calm, okay? So in Exodus chapter 14, God had just rescued uh, Israel from Egypt, the land of bondage and slavery. And in the process of sending them from the land of bondage and slavery to the promised land, God instructed Moses to allow the children of Israel to encamp right by the Red Sea before they crossed it. And when Pharaoh, who had just let them go because God had twisted his arms, uh, he decided to send his chariots, his armies, his Humvees and tanks to go and get back the children of Israel and bring him back to slavery. Now, at this moment, the children of Israel thought, okay, we're truly free. We left uh, Egypt, and the Bible says, with a high hand. That means proudly and with power. Surely God is not going to put us in a situation. But as they woke up and as they arose, they noticed one thing. The Egyptians are coming after them, and they started to panic. So they went to Moses and started complaining. They said, Moses, have you brought us out here in the wilderness to die? Were there not any great graves in Egypt that you brought us out here out of all the places to die and the reason for their panic was because they were trapped before them was the Red Sea okay besides them were the mountains and behind them were the Egyptians they knew they were done and so just like us we are feeling trapped as of right now and we're forgetting that God is in control because before us is uncertainty, joblessness. Besides us are friends and family falling sick right next to us. And behind us is the coronavirus. And as we cry out to God, we are complaining. We're saying, God, is this what you've brought to us? Is this how we're going to perish? Is this what you have in store for us? Is this the promised land that you've promised us for so long? But you see, God had, a, had an idea. He had a plan. He had a plan the whole entire time. And God shows himself by the way Moses speaks to the children of Israel. Because he says to the children of Israel in Exodus chapter 14 verses 13, he allows them to understand that he's still in control. And I'll read to you from the New King James Version. And I love how God puts it. And it says, And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still. See the salvation of the Lord. You see, fear... We learn, number one, when you're afraid, what it does, it, it blinds you to God's hand and God's salvation. It allows you not to see what God is doing. And so God is saying, don't be afraid. Why? Because it blinds you, because you cannot see my hand during this time. And he goes ahead and then he says, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Did you know that God is fighting for you? God is not only a lover, he's a fighter. He's a man of war. And God today is telling you, stand still because I'm fighting for you. And you can have faith and trust in that during this hard time, knowing that God is on your side and you will not falter. You will not fail. You will not be succumbed by this situation, but you will be victorious because God is looking out for you. He will strengthen you in your time of trouble. And yes, he's right next to you, even during this hard time. So be blessed. Thank you for tuning in to Recharge Richardson. We appreciate your viewership. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. 
Join us tomorrow for the next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.